Hi guys, it's Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. Valentine's Day is coming. Are you ready? Choosing a gift, that's the easy part. But making it perfect for the one you love, that's the challenge. I read an article called Five Love Languages. There's words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. For today's video, I will be sharing with you different gift ideas based on your special someone's love language. This is on a budget, so you're not going to spend a lot. But before we jump into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I make videos every week. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button down below and press the bell button beside it so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's begin! Number one, words of affirmation. These people love it when you say or appreciate them through words. Well, for Valentine's Day, you could give them a personalized card. Print it on your own, cut it, and make your DIY punny card. If you are talented enough, you could create a song or a poem for the one you love. It doesn't have to be long as long as it's from the heart. Number two, acts of service. These people love it if you do something for them. So another gift idea is what I call the love coupons. You could find free printable love coupons when you search Google love coupons. Or you could make your own by personalizing it. What are the things that you want your partner to have as a special voucher? Number three, receiving gifts. Now this is the most common one. Even if your love language is not receiving gifts, people tend to give tangible gifts to their loved ones. So if your partner is in that love language, well, you don't have any choice but to look for the things that she or he likes. Last minute shopping? Well, think of the things that your partner likes, the things that he or she wishes, and grant it. Number four, quality time. So these are people who like just to be with you in an adventure. Always make time for them. You could walk in the park. Well, that's free. Or you could look for some places where you can eat for a Valentine's Day dinner. Number five, physical touch. This is the most affordable gift. Give them a hug and a kiss. That's it. Those are just some of the many things you could do before Valentine's Day. So what are you waiting for? Figure out first what your special someone's love language is and find a perfect gift for him or her. I'll see you next time. And don't forget, smile. There's always a reason to be happy. Bye! Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lollipop, 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 l